right, welcome to day 74 of the Vera series, and we got quite a few announcements that has happened recently. But starting out, still no level increase, and I'm thinking that's either gonna happen next Monday or Tuesday. But next, you wanna go to your artificial island, and you wanna go back to building and hit claim, because remember, you can only hold these resources for 24 hours. On top of that, you don't wanna to forget to check your exchange store and buy your weekly items. And with the new week, you wanna make sure you go around and kill your enemies, and try not to wait till procrastinator day, like I usually do. And I recommend that you try to do your fishing, ideally if you can get it to level nine before 2.4 starts, because we should be able to get some free matrices every week. Next, you wanna do your maze kitchen and knock out your four bounties for the day. And I'm gonna go with the Sparrow. Which brings us to Vitality, starting with joint operations. So for today, we got access to Bracers, Chess, and a Shiro Matrix, the end game, and Carnival Party. Now these are all some pretty good dungeons, but if you need weapon materials, you might wanna focus on that, especially if you're going for Fenrir coming up pretty soon. Which brings us to Interstellar Exploration. You wanna check Vera, as well as check Aspera, so that way you can see all of your Stargates. And if this weapon battery category has a number three, it's a level three Stargate, but if it has a number two, is a level two Stargate. But you don't have any level threes or level twos, you could always do dimensional trials. And if you need money, you could always do space-time domains. But if you're pressed for time, you could always make Omnium Beacons. But you might want to have max Omnium Beacons by the time we start heading towards 90. Which brings us to our optionals, and that's giving gifts to your 1.0 characters, and the best way to do that is to go to the black market and talk to Hopkins see this island and do the claw machine and knock out your two trainings for the day. But what is not optional is to do your eight fun zones. And if you have not already, do your six gray space fishers. But the biggest rewards are in the twilight zone, but you do have an eight hour time limit, so you could wait on that. Next, don't forget to do your racing so that way you can place in the top 100 and get your free 400 Mira. And try to knock out your security force mission so that way you can get those old Vera coins and Mira and try not to wait till the last day. And with it being a new week, we have another seven Claire's dream machine. So you wanna go around and attack monsters, open up boxes, even maybe look for machine parts so that way you can get your seven Claire's dream machine for the week. So let me know down in the comments if you got any good Claire's this week. Then you wanna go to your missions tab and click on an item and click use so that way you can get to a point in research. Because remember, you can only hold a grand total of 20 energy and you get five free energy a day so you want to make sure that this does not cap also if you enjoyed these daily guys i would greatly appreciate a like so that way these can spread more on youtube which brings us to our events so hopefully you logged in enough time so that way you got all of your dark crystals in that free ssr selector box if you have not yet got the max points in the half anniversary you have a little over two days to complete this and we just got a new event the hide and seek event which has some really good items to where you can get red nucleus, special vouchers, lost tech so that way you can make visors. Eventually we're going to be able to just get a whole free visor as well as some other great rewards. And this hide and seek event is actually pretty fun and I enjoy this a little bit more than our last half anniversary of it. But let me know what you guys think. But the really big news is that Fenrir is confirmed. She is coming out on March 9th. So most likely for me is going to probably be March 8th at 10 p.m. Eastern. With her coming out, we get access to another supply run to where we can log in and get some free rewards. On top of that, there is a Fenrir order gift similar to how the Lynn is. So as you order for Fenrir, you're going to be able to get some free items and even a new outfit. On top of that, we are getting a nemesis rerun at the same time which is going to last all the way from the 9th to the 18th and most likely nemesis will be added to the standard banner just like claudia and on the 19th tion is getting his second rerun to where he's going to last all the way to the 29th and i have to admit tion matrices are fairly strong and i think this time i'm going to probably pick them up after the tion rerun we get a new event that we can get even more rewards and I believe this is going to be leading up until eventually we get to patch 2.4. And with all of that, I am testing out Fenrir and I'm working on that video and it will be released before Fenrir is out in global. So look forward to that. Which brings us to our weekly tab. And I want to go ahead and give you a warning. Do not collect your weekly rewards up top. The reason being is that the battle pass resets in a little over two days, which should be Wednesday. And if you collect your rewards once the battle pass resets, you're going to be able to clear it out even faster. Which brings us to our challenges. So if you're trying to do something like the Bygone Phantasm or Frontier Clash, you may want to save your Mia's Kitchen so that way you can power yourself up. But starting with the Bygone Phantasm. So last week, as I said, I was a little busy, but I was able to secure second place. Where this week may be pretty tough, but I am rolling for Fenrir and my vote gear is 
pretty good. But ideally what you want to do when it comes to the bygone is you want to take a look at this weapon bonus. And if you have a good weapon bonus, then you might want to do this sneak to next level. And if your CS is high enough, you're going to be able to jump up 11 levels as long as you can beat that floor. But the biggest thing that will determine your rank is Sequential Phantasm. If you're able to get a high score here, most likely you're going to get the top rewards for the week. Frontier Clash. This week is Flame Resist. So if you get some attempts, I recommend that you knock it out unless your main comp is Flame. Otherwise, you can probably partner up with a few people. Void Rift. We got another attempt today and you want to go ahead and knock that out so that we can get that matrix. Void Abyss. Now you have till the end of the month to go ahead and clear this. And for tanking, this is pretty much what I use for my tech. Depending on how strong your team is, you may not need Mechanical Core, but I would recommend Electron Halo for all of your party members. Raids. You want to make sure you do the last two on Heroic and you do Battle Test Area on Heroic so that way you get the best rewards for the week. Wormhole. We got two days to complete this so that way you can get that extra energy crystal dust. Origin of War. If you have not completed completed this yet, you can just wait until the difficulty gets lower. You have until April 1st. The Critical Abyss. Now this is optional content, but you can do it to get clusters. Break from Destiny. You want to make sure you do this at least one time so that we can get those 250 Dark Crystals. Apex League. If you're trying to reach Grand Marshal, you might want to put a couple hours in each day. Next we have our daily buy. So you want to go to Shop, Haunt, and then buy your two Vitality Solutions. Now this is only if you can afford it, but for me, I'm trying to get as many Vitality Solutions as I can because once we reach level 90, essentially one Vitality Solution equals one piece of golden gear and with it being a new week you want to go ahead and buy your booster modules and your advancement modules for the week as long as you can afford it which brings us to the commissary starting with the crystal dust door so you want to buy your advancement modules your booster modules your vera special gift and if you have an 8.5 suppressor you might want to go ahead and buy your potent omnium crystal too because we should be getting another suppressor level once we reach 2.4 face time store you want to buy your booster module twos your advancement module and your data repeaters for the week crew store now the only thing i recommend are relics and the relics that i recommend are either omnium shield or space time rift and if you have both of those you might want to get a drone level three and if you have that then i recommend getting hologram projector support store you want to buy your space time crystal fragments your space time crystal dust gold and depending on how many joy supply chips that you have you may want to buy these and if you need a few extra ssrs you could buy black nucleus and if you have enough return support points i recommend that you buy your space time crystal fragments using return support points and if you need help on how to do that i got a guide on my channel point store now the only thing that you want to spend your points on are spare special gifts so that way you don't have to do training black market or see this island again but if you need to level up your matrices or weapons you could always buy matrix data packs or weapon batteries and with your critical abyss points you could always buy clusters but besides that i just recommend that you explore the map so that we can get those extra resources for your account well hopefully you guys enjoyed this and i just want to go ahead and let you guys know that you may not see any videos from me so that way i can make sure that finrear video is released before she is released but other than that i'll talk with you guys later